Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out my latest video. Sorry for the delay, man. I'm trying something different here by narrating my first video. and uh, It's not an easy thing to do, but um, I'm doing my best and I'm um, going to give it a go. Uh, well, first I want to start off the video by showing you the Airbnb that I rented for my stay in uh, Cuba. And just by looking at it, um, it's, it's an amazing place. I'll leave a link in the description box if you're interested in renting this um, beautiful Airbnb in Badado. Orlando and Victor are amazing hosts. You will not be disappointed. The entire apartment is decorated in 1950s. It literally brings you back to that time. And check out the view, guys. It's amazing. I love this shot. It's a great shot. Well, my first stop of the day was visiting Hotel Nacional. Uh, this is considered a five-star hotel in Badado. And basically, it was only a few blocks away from the Airbnb. Uh, the construction was done in 1930 and then it had another renovation in 1992. The hotel is decorated sort of like an art deco with eclectic designs. Um, it's a very beautiful hotel. Uh, this is the fountain of course behind the, uh, the hotel. I was surprised that the fountain wasn't on. Um, here's the archways that lead to the back of the garden. Here comes this amazing view of the sea and the uh, Havana Harbor. Many several celebrities uh, visited this hotel. Um, for instance, Churchill, Sinatra, Ava Gardner, just to name a few. Oh, that's a woman they're having her picture taken. It looks like her parents. Oh, this is amazing. This is a beautiful place. That's the sea, and that's uh, Havana Harbor. Yeah, behind the hotel, you'll see several cannons. Um, these cannons are from the Santa Clara Battery, and they're there for exhibit. I think I remember seeing about maybe four of them back there. It's pretty cool. My second stop of the day was uh, Callejón de Hamel, Callejón Street, and it is located in central Havana. And it is dedicated to the Santeria African Cuban religion. Uh, the artist who created it was Salvador Gonzalez. And it's a very interesting place. Um, I recorded some of the African Cuban dances so you can hear it and hopefully you like it. Hey! Fast and Furious movies was filmed in this area.
this show is about probably 20 to 30 minutes. Of course, I'm only showing you several minutes of it, but um, I don't have a good time. You can tell by the guy here, he's, I mean, he's enjoying himself, and everybody is, so um, you'll definitely enjoy it if you visit. Next stop is uh, Barrio Chino, uh, Chinatown. And from what I read, by the end of the 19th century, there was literally 10,000 Asians living in this neighborhood. After the revolution, a lot of Chinese uh, Cubans fled to the United States, and now there's only very, very few living there. But you'll find shops and restaurants. Um, it's a very beautiful place. I thought Barrio Chino was a very big neighborhood, considering that the one time it held 10,000 Asians, but um, it's not, it's not, it's not really big. It's a very small area. Here's the Great Theater of Havana, opened in 1915. It is the home of the Cuban National Ballet. It also includes a theater, a concert hall, and a conference room. Here we are folks, the famous Capitolio, the capital building of Cuba um, until 1959. Now it's uh, the home of the Cuban Academy of Science. Um, the design is compared to the United States Capitol, but it's not a replica. It was the tallest building in Havana until 1950. I wanted to go inside and check out the museum, but they had it closed off. Uh, looks like they were filming a wedding. But uh, I guess next time when I go back, I'll check it out. Parque Central, the central park of Havana, just a couple of blocks away from the Capitolio and across the street from the Grand Theater. Beautiful, beautiful plaza. Get on your horse carriage rides over there. Oh, you'll definitely see a whole bunch of classic cars in this area. The statue of Jose Martin. There's definitely no short supply of classic cars in Cuba. Uh, I saw this one parking in front of the Havana Club Museum. Beautiful car. Last but not least, La Florerita. The famous uh, place where Ernest Hemingway hung out, and it's also famous for his daiquiris. Well, guys, that ends the video for day three. I hope you liked the video, and thank you so much for checking it out. And um, more videos to come. Bye.